Welcome back to Pitch Cafe podcast and motivational. Today we are going to learn about the power of silence and the grassroots is coming from the timeless wisdom of stoicism. Imagine sitting down with the amazing Greek philosophers Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, Seneca, legends whose thoughts have transcended centuries. We are uncovering seven life-changing lessons from stoicism about silence that can help us build inner strength and find peace so grab your favorite drink get comfy and let's embark on this journey of discovery together you know stoicism teaches us something vital about the words we use especially the ones we whisper to ourselves marcus aurelius had this profound insight don't be overheard complaining not even to yourself it's all about the narrative we spin in our minds when we constantly tell ourselves things like i'm terrible at this we are not just being self critical we are chipping away at our own self esteem stoicism nudges us towards a healthier inner dialogue one where we encourage ourselves reminding ourselves of the potential and capabilities we have it's not just about being positive it's about cultivating resilience and strength from within remember stoicism means you're not too excited and not too disappointed when some things happen in your life and you maintain that balance it is called sthita pragna in sanskrit here's another gem Stoicism teaches us the beauty of silent self-improvement. Epictetus, he was a wise old soul. He used to say that we should let our actions speak, speak for themselves. It's easy to fall into the trap of boasting about our progress or achievements, but the real growth, the kind that truly shapes us, happens quietly in the background, away from the spotlight. It's about transforming ourselves. through humble dedicated effort and not seeking applause and acknowledgement for every step we take seneca was another stoic heavyweight and he was big on moderating everything in your life he believed that the secret to a balanced life was moderation in whatever we do how we eat how we drink how we work and play think of it like walking a tightrope learn too much on one side and you're in the realm of excess too much on the other and then you're depriving yourself the goal is to find the sweet spot in the middle where we enjoy life without over indulging or restricting ourselves too much now let's talk about listening this is an important part of silence when you're quiet and you listen and you're not talking you're absorbing and zeno of citium the founder of stoicism has the simple yet profound piece of advice you have two ears one mouth so listen more and more than you speak in today's world where everyone is rushing to be heard there's something incredibly powerful about being a good listener it's about more than just talking it's about truly hearing people understanding their perspective and showing them respect and empathy it's an art really and one that can transform the way we connect with others stoicism also teaches us not to get too caught up in what the future holds epictetus said it's best there is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will it's about understanding the limits of our control we can't dictate everything in our lives and that's okay the trick is to focus on the present make the best of it and trust that this approach will shape our future in the best way possible and being as in silence practicing silence is a great way to focus on the present because you're not thinking about the past or pre- or future or worrying about past or future so here's something i've been pondering the importance of gratitude again this also puts you in a state of immense happiness and silence epictetus once remarked he is a wise individual who does not grieve for the things he lacks but rejoices for those that he possesses ingratitude is like a shadow that darkens our interaction and our view of life on the flip side expressing gratitude acknowledging the good the kind acts of others the small joys that's like letting sunlight in our lives it strengthens our relationships and enriches our experiences lastly let's touch upon complaining or rather the power of not complaining and being quiet practicing silence 
Marcus Aurelius believed that happiness largely depends on our mindset and how we view the world. Constantly complaining does not solve anything. It just breeds negativity and a sense of helplessness. If we can pivot our focus towards finding solutions, embracing the positive aspects of our lives and practicing gratitude, we open ourselves up to a world of positivity, better mental health and stronger relationships. So wrapping it all up, remember stoicism isn't about enduring life's challenges. It's about thriving through them with wisdom and inner peace, practicing silence as much as we can. These lessons guide us to be mindful of when to speak, when to listen and how to cultivate a fulfilling and meaningful life. Thank you so much for tuning into Pitch Cafe podcast and motivational. I hope these insights from silence and stoicism inspire you as much as they've inspired me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more motivational journeys. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning and stay inspired.